Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different. I feel like I say that in a lot of my videos, but today I'm going to be telling you why and how I stopped sucking my thumb. I was a little bit older when I stopped sucking my thumb. I think I was about in first or second grade when I stopped and it was actually my choice. So that is one thing that I want to put out there. Like it wasn't because my parents put like hot sauce on my thumb or it wasn't because anything crazy. It was never any tactic that my parents used on me to get me to stop sucking my thumb. Um, I suck my thumb, I guess, I think ever since my parents adopted me and it was just one of those things that comforted me. I also never had any binkies or like, I don't know, teething things because if you guys know Valerie, she's like a germaphobe. There would be nothing of that sort in our house because she just thought binkies and like teether things were just like super unsanitary and I've got to agree with her those things are so gross and then when you know like parents drop them and then they suck on them thinking that they're getting the germs off of them and they put them back in their baby's mouth just grosses me the heck out like I think that is so gross I mean I'm not a germaphobe but I just I like cleanly things and just the mere fact of thinking of that and like everything and all the bacteria is just like so gross to me I never had a binky or anything of that matter, dummy, whatever you want to call it. Never had anything like that. So I guess I self improvised and I used my thumb and it was all great, right? So I lived in Ohio, as you guys know, for a couple years, um, probably like for five years or four years, but I sucked my thumb all through that time. And I went to pre-K in, Ohio and I just remember like I would suck my thumb and people would make fun of me I remember on the playground ones this little boy like making fun of me because I was sunking my thumb I think it was like near the time when it was like snowing and stuff I had pretty thick skin back in the day as well. So like it really didn't bother me I mean, I probably as a little kid I didn't know these words at the time I don't think but I was like in my head like f off like whatever like I don't care what you think So I just of course continue to do it and i'm just like, okay Okay, I'm gonna let, let you be at that point in my life. I didn't really care. Um, we moved to Florida I still suck my thumb, but I kind of just only suck my thumb at night So when I would go to sleep, I would suck my thumb and everything and I just remember like people and like maybe doctors or whatever Telling us like you better stop sucking your thumb because it'll ruin your teeth You're gonna need braces this that and the other and guys, let me tell you I suck my thumb a lot I have not had braces my teeth are like a little bit crooked, but not like I'm not buck tooth. I don't have like anything, you know, inherently wrong with my teeth. They're fine. I really think that depends on the individual. A lot of individuals have problems with their teeth because of that if they do suck their thumb or use a pacifier for too long. But clearly I never had anything wrong with my teeth. And I think one of my friends actually, she sucked her thumb too or she like she bit her lip or whatever. I don't know really, but she always did that and she didn't ever had any problems either. So I don't know. I think it's just up to the individual and like their body and stuff because I never had a problem. So uh, we were just like being advised like, you know, she should stop that blah, blah, blah. But my parents are like, she'll decide when she's ready to do that. If she, I don't know, goes to college with sucking her thumb, then like, so be it. Doesn't like hurt anyone, you know? And that's what braces are for, like fix your teeth, whatever. Um, I continue to suck my thumb, whatever. And then comes my first sleepover. So I was like nervous, but also like super excited. I was like gonna sleep over at this girl's house and um, it's actually funny that we like stopped being friends like shortly after that But um, yeah, she was in brownie scouts with me and I was so excited to have my first sleepover And I didn't want to be sucking my thumb during that because I didn't want to be made fun of I think I started caring more what other people thought of me I guess at that age and I was like I'm if I'm having a sleepover I can't be sucking my thumb, you know, like this got be over so how I stopped sucking my thumb was and I typically at that age was just sucking my thumb at night just to go to sleep and never really like during the day. So I didn't really have to stop sucking my thumb during the day because I had already stopped doing that like 
a little while back. At night, what I would do is I would, I think I would always suck the left thumb. I don't know. I don't know which thumb I sucked. I guess I'll ask my mom and then I'll put it in the comment section down below or description box. <laughs> but I sucked like one of them. Like I know I didn't suck one of them because it felt weird. So I think it was the left. I'm pretty sure it was the left hand. Left thumb. I, should, I don't like suck my hand. So I would stick this hand under my pillow. That's how I did it because I'm like, well, if it's under my pillow on my head and that's probably why I sleep the way I do because like I sleep like this. So like my arm is like far away from my face. Yeah, that's kind of like how I stopped and why I stopped. I didn't want to be like the only one sucking their thumb at a sleepover. And I think it took about two weeks to like actually break the habit. I don't really know how long. And my parents don't know a lot about that. I mean, they knew my strategy about quitting sucking my thumb, but like, I don't know. It was more of like a personal thing in if that makes sense. So I just slept with my hand underneath my pillow and I didn't touch it and tried to not think about it. And then when your head is on your arm, you really can't like move it that easily. So that is how. Um, I would love to know if you guys suck your thumbs or use pacifier or whatever. I mean, it really doesn't matter at any age. Like honestly, if you do that or whatever, it really doesn't matter. Like, I mean, clearly you can't be like in an office building. <laughs> or anything like that like sucking your thumb but I mean like at night like who cares you know I mean it doesn't really hurt anyone and it's not that big of a deal so let me know if you sucked your thumb or anything like when you were young because I would love to know it's pretty much the story I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like the video and I'll see you guys in my next video bye